what is up guys welcome and welcome back to the channel i'm back at the cribble as you can see this is my 10 month update it's going to be a really really quick video really nothing to discuss my hair is doing great i'm going to show you what it looks like stay tuned for the update so welcome to the 10 month man it's crazy we are here i just washed my hair this is what it looks like when it's fully picked out it looks the best like this this is how i um i don't rock it like this all the time i normally put like curling stuff in it while it's like picked out but this is when it looks the best when it's fully picked out this is like five months of growth so not like a full 10 month of growth but this is five months and on the six month next month we're gonna start getting it braided and see what that looks like hopefully i have enough hair in the front where it don't look too funky when it's um braided up but yeah here goes the hair update It's still cool in the front. Sides looking all right too. Um, the head looks like pretty uniform now. Like it, it used to be like this was really like slow compared to the rest of the hair, but it looks pretty uniform now. Um, I'm gonna do a curl routine to show you guys what that looks like. So here's what the hair looks like after the curl routine. Looks really good when it's curled up, especially when it's like picked out first. Still have some thinning in the crown but I didn't get any hair transplanted there. So all that thinnage is just like my regular normal hair that was just falling out before I got on with finasteride and minoxidil and the hair transplant pretty much. Uh, but there have no grass placed in my crown. So that's just my native hair that's there. But look at a close up. Um, it looks really nice. Like the left side is doing way better than it usually does. It, it used to be like the slow side. It didn't really do too well, but now it's like really good. If you can see here, you still have some spots where you can see into the scalp, but it's not as noticeable. Don't use hair fibers anymore. So don't really, aren't, I'm not really concerned about it. And then the right side always been looking luscious, always been doing this thing. Shout out to the right side, but hair is, is pretty good. Like I'm, I'm cool with where it's at 10 months in. This is pretty much where it's going to be at. Just gonna let it grow out. Not getting a haircut ever again. So this is just <laughs> what my hair is gonna be. Um, I don't get lineups when I do my haircut. I just let them do the, the sides and like the fade and a little bit of the back, but I don't get any lineups. So all that is just like, like literally, since I got my hair transplant, this is what my hairline has been because I don't let them touch that. I don't even touch it because so afraid. <laughs> I don't want anybody to push that back. I don't know if them hair is gonna really be growing back like that, so I don't let them touch the line. So I'm still using finasteride and minoxidil every night, the 0.5 in finasteride. I'm still using the, the pill cutter to cut the pills in half. And I'm using 2.5, two pills of 2.5 of minoxidil, which is equals to like five milligrams of minoxidil. So I'm just using that. Uh, I get a lot of comments on how well my hair transplant is based on the amount of grafts I got. I attribute that mainly to the finasteride and the minoxidil. It's been, again, I did get like 1600 grafts. So not a lot of grafts, but with the finasteride and the minoxidil, it's been able to bring my hair to a point where it's full. It's, it's very um, dense in the terms of it's not, it's not thinning out anymore. It's not falling out. Um, I was going through a period of shedding, not going through that anymore. So this is like my hair as it's probably going to be for the rest of my life. Don't think I'm going to get another hair transplant. Don't really see that I actually need it anymore now that my hair is like way fuller. Um, so I'm going to make sure at the 12 months, but I, I probably won't do it. But that's it for this video, guys. Sorry if this video was like monotone and really short. Life been whooping my ass, so I just had to get this out before I leave. Um, but happy New Year's. 2024 is going to be an amazing year. Two months away from the one year of having this hair transplant. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. The likes, the comments, the subscribers. I couldn't do any of this without y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate each and every one of y'all, man. Happy 2024. More growth all 2024. Peace.